Should you be switching your fight style? Today we're gonna to look at five different kickboxing fight styles. And you may have been in the gym before, sparring somebody, being like, my gosh, this guy just has this style that is so good, so overwhelming. I wanna compete like that. We're gonna break down all these styles, help you understand why some might feel better than others, but really you wanna be dialing in on what feels best for you. So today we're looking at five different fight styles in the kickboxing world, five different general ways that people will compete. But of course, keep in mind that there's a lot of crossover. Many people will take a little bit of this style and a little bit of that style. That's when people become extraordinary in my mind. But first, let's start off and let's talk about fight style number one, which is very heavy on the boxing and a very aggressive style. Why is it aggressive when somebody is primarily hands? Well, because we have kicks, and kicks are a lengthier technique. If you're gonna utilize hands, you have to get in. You have to get past those kicks. So to step forward, you have to commit, and you're gonna be aggressive just to get past those longer weapons. The boxer, very often, is somebody who is heavy on that pressure, that KO style, and they just rip the hands. Of course, they'll occasionally toss in a leg or something, but really, if you're somebody out there who has fantastic hands, you go, number one, I hit really hard. Number two, my hands are super fast. This might be a style for you to adopt. You kind of go, okay, hands are gonna be about 70, 80% of my fight style. Sure, I'll mix in some kicks, but really it's gonna be me stepping in and ripping those hand combos. Kind of like Iron Mike Zambides from back in the K1 Max days, this guy relied heavily on his hands and guess what? It worked great for him. Fight style number two is the clencher. Somebody who's gonna get inside and they're really gonna try and close that distance. They don't wanna be at that kicking range. They don't wanna be at that boxing range. They wanna be in tight at that clench range. Now, because of kickboxing rules evolving, switching, clenching is getting a little bit less common because the fight promotions are not allowing it as much, but I love the clench style because you have to break past all those additional techniques, those kicks, those punches. When you get to the inside, you can lock up and you can start ragdolling people. It is a super strong style. We saw clips of this little remnants when Bokal fought Masato the very first time around where he just annihilated Masato and a lot of the credit goes goes to that clench work. And you have to make sure or remember that, yeah, we're not throwing elbows, but that doesn't mean that clenching is ineffective. Yes, under kickboxing rules, very often now, you only get three seconds, but you can still do something like, okay, I'm gonna slide forward, knee, knee, break off, and it becomes very difficult for somebody who wants to punch to deal with this style. And quick pause, guys, to give a shout out to the sponsor of this episode, I'm um, Decked Out in X Martial Gear. Like I've said before on the channel, they have some really exciting apparel things that are fun i got some flamingos some pink flamingos the x marshall logo right down on this short shirt this one's awesome i've had so many people at the gym say whoa where can i get that one x marshall i'm gonna have a link in the description below you can use my promo code gabriel varga to save 10 percent next up we're talking about the kicker essentially in my mind this is somebody who is a very muay thai style fighter they want to stay outside that punching range. Very often they're not gonna have their hands glued to their head, hands a little further out so they can parry the shots, catch the shots, and then slam in big kicks. They're gonna utilize a lot of teeps and a lot of round kicks at all different levels. And it's power kicks. Very often not trying to put together five or six really fast flashy kicks, but slam you with one powerful kick that will really off balance you and then create distance. So once they slam one, they can take a second and then come and slam another one. The kickers are ultra dangerous and very often, their one little weakness is their defense to hands. But if you can sort that out, you can get really good boxing defense, then being primarily focused on power kicks, Muay Thai style kicks, works very nice. Another style of kicking, but I'm gonna call this the distance fighter, is somebody who will adopt somewhat of a karate style. They'll change more from here, and they'll turn a little bit sideways, and they're gonna be bouncing. They're not gonna to wanna to engage in boxing whatsoever. They certainly do not wanna be in that clinch range, and they don't even wanna be 
at that power round kick range, they're gonna focus more on trying to get their side kicks off, their spinning kicks, and they're a nightmare to deal with because their backwards movement is so good. So if you decide, okay, I'm gonna box this person, I'm gonna throw big kicks, they're really good at just oh, and being gone and then getting to that ideal distance where the spinning kicks or the side kicks, which are very long, are gonna be the most dangerous. This style is something that we'll see in fighters like Raymond Daniels, and it can be very difficult for other styles to deal with because we don't get to see or train against many fighters in the gym who do this. And finally, the last style that we're looking at is the technician. The technician is not going to engage in big power shots. They're not going to brawl. They're going to take their time. It could be in this style. It could be a little bouncier, but really what they're looking to do is to not get hit. Their defense is on point. They'll throw shots and then they'll usually do something to move. Either it's head off the center line or they'll throw and they'll step back. Very often when they block shots, they'll come back with counters. And to me, this is one of the most proficient styles. It's what we see the greatest do because you don't take the same amount of damage as the other styles. If you're a big Muay Thai round kicker, yeah, you're gonna be slamming shots, but a lot of times people will block and they'll come back with good combos. And that's where those guys get lit up. Somebody who's aggressive on the boxing, very often they'll push, they'll push, they'll push, but they'll walk into knees or they'll take round kicks to try and get in. The technician is a little bit smarter. Does that mean that's the best style for you? No, technician. It's not my style. I can take pieces of all these five styles and hopefully create something that works very well for me. Do not limit yourself to thinking, okay, I have to be in this box or this box or this box. Take pieces. And sometimes you'll find that certain elements really work well for you. Maybe you think, okay, boxing. I'm really good at boxing. I have this really awesome crisp jab, but I don't like being in here. So you utilize that beautiful crisp jab. And then you go, yeah, I'm really good off the power round kick. So I'm gonna move those in as well. And hey, guess what? I'm good at spinning side kick. So occasionally off my longer jab, I'm gonna throw a spinning side kick. And you start creating something where you take pieces of all these different elements we talked about today. I think even though the technicians are very good fighters, I think you will absolutely do your best by making sure you pick and choose what works and eliminate what does not. I do not like gyms where they say, we're doing this style and it's the only way to do it. If you do anything else, it's wrong. You guys got to open your mind and it'll help you be the best fighter you can be. So we're going to call it to everybody. Thank you for joining me today. As always, train hard and I will see you back here soon for another video. Oh,